Hi, I'm Zach. And I'm Amanda. And today we're going to guide you through a couple different installations for our pillars. Pillars are posts that are going to fit on an 8 inch post or smaller. If you have a post that's larger than 8 inches, check out our column video. We're going to do two separate installations, one floor to ceiling and one floor halfway up with a pillar cap. If you're doing a pillar project that's only going to go a portion of your post up, or if it's something that's a freestanding post where the top is open, we've got two different pillar cap options. We've got our flat pillar cap which as you can kind of see, it does have a slight runoff still, and that's just for water runoff. Or we've got a peaked option. So this would be best for a freestanding post. This one is best if you're going around um, where the post is gonna continue above. For pillar projects, they're pretty straightforward. You're really gonna have one piece involved aside from the cap. This is gonna go on one side, and then you'll flip it around so it'll interlock on the next where it meets. Here's everything you're gonna need for your pillar install. So the pillars that we're doing for our project are gonna be an interior one. So one thing we don't need for an interior install is gonna be the adhesive. If you're doing an exterior pillar, you will need the adhesive on the back of the panels. Next, we've got our caulking gun for our color match caulking. Uh, we have our paint kit to mix in with our color match caulking and to touch up any cut edges. We've got a tape measure, especially important if you're gonna need to be making any cuts. Our drill two sets of screws, two different lengths. We've got our handsaw for cuts, our square, and our level. We're gonna start by leveling the panel. So basically, I'm gonna use the pillar panel as a guide. I'm ultimately gonna use my square and my level just because it's a little bit easier for me. Uh, we are gonna level with the pillar rather than with the floor, and that's gonna be the case most of the time just because the floor is often not totally level, so you wanna have something that is. Here you can see our level markers. We're just gonna jump right into install. Now you'll notice the back of the panel has this extra piece of material. Keep a mental note that when you start install and you're screwing through, you wanna keep your screw in line with that center piece just so you're not getting this void area back here. Wanted to pause here real quick to mention that if you're having a little trouble getting your third and fourth panel in, just loosen your screws on the first few. You should be able to tuck that right into place, tighten those screws, and then continue your project. Now that we've got our screws in the face of the pillar panels attaching it to the post, you wanna put a couple of screws where the, the panels are gonna to meet together. So we're gonna put one right here to bring this in tighter, and so on. As you install your second row, for lack of a better term, you're gonna swap the panels. If you have a small one on top of this one, you're gonna go big one on bottom of the next row up. So for this pillar project, we're gonna end our project where this post meets the beam up top. So our next step here that we've got our two rolls installed is to measure how much more we're gonna need, make our cuts, and install the final portion. For the final row, we used two pillar panels and we cut the top and bottom of each to finish up that final row.
Now that we've got our full pillar post done, we're gonna start on our next post where we're only gonna go a portion of the way up the pole and then we're gonna use our pillar cap on top to top it off. The starting process is exactly the same as for the full post. We've got our level lines drawn on all, all four sides. Now we're gonna get started installing our pillar panels and we'll come back and show you how to do the cap. So I've got my cap here. We're gonna cut it diagonally first, but I wanted to show you this side. What we're gonna do to make sure that we don't cut off too much material, and I know this looks like a lot of line work, we're gonna cut to the dotted line first, and then basically either sand or use a handsaw to pull it back to this thicker line, or the not dotted line, I should say, just to make sure that we don't cut our material too thin and have gaps for the cap. So as you can see, we've got the middle cut out, we've got our two pieces. So what we're gonna do now is put our color match caulk on the seam of this where these two pieces are gonna meet. We're gonna put it around our pillar and basically screw them together and touch up that caulk. We're gonna go back and fill in any of the seams and screw holes with our color match caulking. Lastly, you will use the color match caulking where this cap meets the post this is just to keep it all weather tight. As we mentioned, we used our color match caulk to fill in some of these seams. We actually, a pro tip here, used a damp paper towel to go back in and kind of touch that up and make sure that it's all flat along the surfaces. Uh, so you're gonna use about 30 milliliters of the paint in the actual syringe for your caulking. There's another video on that that we'll link in this one. Um, but one thing that I wanted to mention, keep some of your paint set aside so that after all of your caulking dries, if you do still need to go back and make touch-ups, you've got the appropriate material. Lastly, on the pillar installation, we wanted to touch quickly on what to do if your pillars are not eight by eight. So for example, we've got a six by six post here. Your nominal dimension on that is five and a half by five and a half. What you're gonna do is take a one by six, cut that down slightly, add it to each side of your six by six pillar. From there, take a half inch plywood, cut that down to eight inches. Again, attach to all sides. You should have it at eight inches there, so you're good to install the genstone over top. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, if you have questions or want to get started on a project yourself, go ahead and give us a call at the number on screen.